This is Dr. Lakshmi Narayanam, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Vardhaman College of Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain about test of significance for difference of proportions. Even we can call as Z test for difference of proportions. So, under this one, let P1 and P2 be the sample proportions in two large random samples of sizes N1 and N2 drawn from two populations having the proportions P1 and P2. To test whether the two samples have been drawn from the same population. So, as for the working rule, so first working rule is null hypothesis that we can denote it as H0 colon P1 is equal to P2. It means both proportions are equal. Under alternative hypothesis, we can assume H1 colon P1 not equal to P2 and H1 colon P1 less than P2 and H1 colon P1 is greater than P2. So, P1 not equal to P2, we can treat as two tail test. P1 less than P2, we treat as left tail test. P1 greater than P2, we treat as right tail test. Third working rule, level of significance. So, we will uh, specify uh, alpha percent level of significance. It depends on the problem. Uh, we will assume that alpha value. Next working rule is test statistics. Under the test statistics, uh, first of all, we have we can consider two cases. The first case is when the population proportions P1 and P2 are known and the second case is population proportions P1 and P2 are unknown. First of all, we will discuss about propo population proportions P1 and P2 are known. So, in this case, we can assume Q1 as 1 minus P1, Q2 as 1 minus P2 and small P1, P2 are the sample proportions. So, standard error we can find out as standard error of P1 minus P2 is equal to root of P1 Q1 divided by N1 plus P2 Q2 divided by N2. And hence the, uh, hence the test statistic Z is equal to P1 minus P2 divided by standard error of P1 minus P2. That is equal to P1 minus P2 divided by under root P1 Q1 divided by N1 plus P2 Q2 divided by N2. So, we can apply modulus here. Next, second case. As I said, when the population proportions P1 and P2 are not known, but the sample proportions P1 and P2 are known. So, in this case, we will consider two methods. One is method of substitution and the second one is method of pooling. So, in method of substitution, so we will write standard error as P1 minus P2 is equal to under root P1 Q1 divided by N1 plus P2 Q2 divided by N2. Therefore, the test statistic we will consider as Z is equal to modulus P1 minus P2 divided by standard error of P1 minus P2 which is equal to P1 minus P2 divided by root of P1 small Q1 divided by N1 plus P2 small Q2 divided by N2. The second method is method of pooling. So, in this method, the estimated value for two population proportions is obtained by pooling the two sample proportions P1 and P2 into a single proportion P by the formula given below. So, in this, P consider as P N1 P1 plus N2 P2 divided by N1 plus N2. So, under Q is equal to 1 minus P. The standard error of P1 minus P2, we will take it as under root P Q divided by N1 plus P Q divided by N2. If you take it P Q common, you can get it to 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2 also. Hence, the test statistic, we will write it as Z is equal to P1 minus P2 divided by standard error of P1 minus P2. That we can write it as P1 minus P2 divided by under root P Q into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2. Then the conclusion's point of view, so if the Z calculated value less than or equal to Z table value, we will accept null hypothesis. Otherwise, we will reject null hypothesis. Otherwise means, so Z calculated value is greater than Z table value, then we will reject null hypothesis. So, uh, based on the rejection rule, so in uh, as discussed in the earlier videos, at 1% level 2.58, 5% level 1.96, 10% 1.645 under two tailed test we will reject H0. Same way 1% 2.33, 5% 1.645, 10% 1.28 at right tail test we will reject a null hypothesis. The same way 1% 2. minus 2.33, 5% minus 1.645, 10% minus 1.28. Okay, under left tail test we will reject null hypothesis. Now, we will discuss example based on 
difference of proportions. See this problem. Random samples of 400 men and 600 women were asked whether they would like to have a flyover near their residence. 200 men and 325 women were in favor of the proposal. Test the hypothesis that the proportions of men and women in favor of the proposal are same at a 5% level. So in this, if you observe it, the sample size n1, the first sample size n1, the second sample size is n2, and next, uh, 200 men. Out of 400, 200 men means you can assume as x1. And out of 600 women, 325 women are favor of the proposal. So this you can consider as x2. So n1 is available, n2 is available, x1 is available, and x2 is available. With the help of this information, you can apply difference of proportions concept. So as per the working rules, the first working rule is null hypothesis. In the short form, we can write it as h0. The proportions are equal. I repeat, we'll assume the proportions are equal. Next second working rule is H1. So P1 not equal to P2. Proportions are not equal. This will consider as two tailor test. Third working rule is level of significance. In short form, we write as LOS. So this test at 5% level of significance as specified in the problem. Next fourth working rule is test statistics. That is Z is equal to P1 minus P2 divided by under root PQ into 1 by N1 plus 1 by N2 modulus. As you know it P1 is equal to X1 by N1 P2 is equal to x2 by n2 and small p is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by n1 plus n2 and small q is equal to 1 minus p. This is the test statistic. Next four, fifth working rule is calculation. That is as given in the problem n1 is equal to 400 and n2 is equal to 600 x1 is equal to 200 x2 is equal to 325 so with the help of this information we will find out p1 as x1 by n1 that is equal to 200 divided by 400 which is equal to 0 0.5 and p2 is equal to x2 by n2 that is equal to 325 divided by 600 that is equal to 0 0.541 and small p is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by n1 plus n2 which is equal to 200 plus 325 divided by 400 plus 600 if you simplify this p-value, you will get it 0 0.525. Now, q is equal to 1 minus p, which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.525, which is equal to 0 0.475. With the help of this information, you can calculate z value. That is, z is equal to p1 minus p2. p1 means 0 0.5. P2 means 0 0.541 divided by under root small b. So P is equal to 0 0.525 into 0 0.475 into 1 by n1 is equal to 400 plus 1 by n2 is equal to 600. Modulus. So that if you simplify, we will get it out 1.28. So that we will consider as Z calculated value. After getting of Z calculated value, you can compare Z calculated value with the Z table value. So here Z table value at 5% level of significance and the two tail test, the Z table value is 1.96. Therefore, Z calculated value 
is less than z table y value that's why we accept h naught the final conclusion is z calculated value is less than z table value that's why we will accept h naught and we may conclude that there is no significant difference between both proportions yeah now we'll discuss one more example based on z test for difference of proportions if you see the problem in two large populations there are 30% and 25% respectively of fair haired people in this difference likely to be hidden in samples of 1200 and 900 respectively from the two populations if you see based on the given values they mentioned the two large populations of 30% and 25 percent you can consider this is the first proportion value and this is the second proportion value and here the samples they mentioned 1200 and 900 so this you can consider n1 and this is considered as n2 first sample size and second sample size so based on this information you can decide you can you have to apply difference of proportions concept as for the working rules if you observe the first working rule the first working rule is denoted as H0, that is null hypothesis, which is equal to P1 is equal to P2. Both proportions are equal. Second working rule is H1, P1 not equal to P2. So we will consider two tail tests. And third working rule is level of significance. So here we will test at 5% level of significance and fourth working rule is test statistics that is z is equal to p1 minus p2 divided by under root p1 q1 divided by n1 plus p2 q2 divided by n2 where p1 is equal to sample proportion 1 and p2 as sample proportion 2 here the fifth, fifth working rule that is a calculation in this calculation see what they mentioned here n1 is equal to 1200 first sample size n2 is equal to 900 second sample size and p1 is equal to 30 percent that means 30 divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.30 and P2 is equal to 25%, it means 25 by 100, which is equal to 0.25. Then Z is equal to, we'll substitute in the formula directly, P1, that is 0 0.30, P2, 0 0.25, divided by under root P1, 0 0.30, into Q1 is 0 0.70, why? Because here q1 we will find out as 1 minus p1 which is equal to 1.30 1 minus 0 0.30 that is equal to 0 0.70 and q2 is equal to 1 minus p2 which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.25 that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.25 means 0 0.75 so those values we are substituting here when our substituting value p1 q1 divided by n1 that is 1200 plus p2 0.25 into q2 0 0.75 divided by n2 that is equal to 900 so if you simplify the whole value you will get it 2.56 this we consider as z calculated value and as per z table value at a 5% level of significance and a two-tailed test, the Z table value is 1.96. As per the conclusion, here Z calculated value is greater than Z table value. Therefore, we reject H0. It means the both proportions are not equal. Thank you.